Hey, what's going on, you guys? Welcome back to another video. This one's going to be pretty quick. I was on Twitter, came across this user, John Hat, who shared this post about using a Razer product to escalate privileges, going from a standard user, getting all the way to a system level shell. Uh, I thought that was super interesting. And I was like, hey, I've got a Razer keyboard, so I'm going to try it out. Um, in fact, there's all kinds of different posts. This one's by Threat Post. Here's one by Bleeping Computer that are all taking like his his finding that he shared uh, and, and talking about it. So I'm going to show you how you can take a Razer device and at least as of time of this video being recorded, you'll be able to escalate privileges from standard to admin. All right, let's go. All right, so here we are just on a regular Windows 10 system, and I'm gonna show you, if I were to try to open a PowerShell window up as an administrator, we get hit with a UAC prompt, okay? So we don't have admin rights. Uh, I don't know the password to get signed in. I'm just a regular user on this box. If we go into PowerShell here, like this bigger, I can say like, who am I? We could see I'm signed in as, as D Lillard. We can go even further. We can just say net user, just to make sure I'm not a part of any local administrator group. So I don't have admin rights on this system. Let's close that up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and put uh, plug in my, wherever he is, the Razer device that I have. And you know, you might have a different uh, device. You might not have the Black Widow, but I believe this works for any Razer device, at least anyone that has, um, at least anyone that has like programmable buttons or something like that. If, if you have a mouse that doesn't have a programmable button, I actually have one of those. I couldn't get this same thing to happen, uh, at least with that mouse. So I think you might have to have like a programmable button or something in order to get the actual window we need to abuse this bug. But you'll notice in the background, we've got this device being set up. So we'll give it a second here, see if it's able to set that device up. We can also try to take a look at what's going on behind the scenes using task manager. Definitely got something going on. Local systems working on something and boom. All right. It doesn't take long. Now we see this razor installer pop up, came up on its own. All I did was say, Hey, plug this device in. So what happened here is windows update went out and tried to figure out, okay, what's the device driver that I need for this device. It pulled that down and it was running that as system and I could prove that. So if we hit next, when we get to this window, if you go into this install location and you click into it, you actually get a file explorer window. Um, and this part is pretty interesting because this file explorer got spawned with whatever level of process, or I guess whatever, uh, yeah, whatever level of access the actual process was running as. And again, I mentioned it was running that system. So if you were to hold down shift on your keyboard and you right click into the white space, you'll have an option here to open up a PowerShell window. If you click into that, Notice how it's already taken us to an administrator level PowerShell. And if we make this a bit bigger here and I run something like, who am I? I now have NT authority system level access. So just like that, we escalated privileges from a regular user. Now we have system. This is where we can go crazy and say something like net user, D Lillard, and, uh, and we could actually do like net local group administrators, D Lillard, add. Do something like that. Now we just granted ourselves, this user that we already were, we just granted ourselves part of this local administrator group. So if I were to sign out and sign back in, I would now have local administrator rights on the system simply by executing and abusing this bug. So anyway, I thought this was something that was super interesting. Video is going to be quick. I hope you learned something. Let me know what you think. Give credit to John Hat. He was the one who found this and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.